Hello friends! Do you know what day it is today? Let's figure it out together. Can you look on the board to find the last shape that we drew in our pattern? If we find that shape, that will help us to know what yesterday was and then it will help us to determine what today is. What did you guess? Did you guess blue rhombus? Blue rhombus is the last shape that we did on our, on our calendar for our pattern. And it's a special shape. It's also called a diamond. So it has two names, rhombus or diamond. You can call it whatever you like. We're just saying rhombus in our pattern so that we can learn and remember that it's also called a rhombus. So yesterday was Saturday, February 20th, 2021. And it's the end of our row. So there's no more columns here in the calendar. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at this square and we're going to go down and then go all the way back to the beginning of our columns. So this will be today and I'm going to put in today's pattern so that we can know where to come back to when we're working on our calendar. What do you think is going to come next in our pattern? Yesterday was a blue rhombus. So today would be, let's do our pattern together and see if you're correct. Are you ready? Red heart, blue rhombus, 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 red heart. Did you guess red heart? Let's draw the red heart together. You can draw it on your calendar or on a piece of paper, or you can draw it in the air with your finger. All of those are great ways to practice making our shapes. So we're going to start here and we're going to go up in a bump, come around like we're going to make a circle, but then we're going to come down to a point. And then we're going to go up from the point on an angle and then we're gonna start making a circle. And then we can color it in. You can color it whatever color you would like, or if you don't wanna put shapes on your calendar, you can also just put in an X, or if you're really good at remembering, you don't have to put anything in at all. So red heart, it was our next shape. So that will help us determine what today is. So if we go up to the top, it tells us that today is Sunday. And do you see there's so many days in the week do you remember how many days are there? Let's count together and see if we're correct. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. Thank you for singing that with me. I love it when we do things together. It makes it more fun. So today is Sunday. And it begins with a capital S. And our names of the day always start with a capital letter because it's a name. Anytime you have a name of something, you put a capital at the beginning. So capital S U N D A Y. Sun Day. Sunday. And we can put that into our sentence. Our sentence begins with the words today is. Next, we can put in Sunday, and it's a capital S because it's the name of the day, S-U-N-D-A-Y. And then we're going to put a comma, and this comma reminds us to pause before we say the next word. And our next word is going to be the name of the month. Do you remember what the name of the month is? Do you remember how many months there are in a year? Let's figure it out together. Let's see if our guess is correct. Are you ready? Count with me. It's okay if you don't know yet. We'll practice together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve months in our year. Are you ready to say the names with me? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Good job. And do you remember which month it is? It's the second one. So one, two, February. And we put our month at the top of the calendar so that we know what month we're in. And it begins with a capital F. And F sounds like fun or fuzzy. So capital F because it's the name of our month. F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y. feb ru -ary. February. And we can put that into our sentence. Today is Sunday, February, and we're gonna put a capital F because it's the name of the month, F. E, B, R, U, A, R, Y. Next, we're gonna put in the number. And our number is missing. We need to figure out what it is. So let's go back to yesterday. 
Yesterday was 20, and we say 20th when we put it into our calendar. But what comes after 20? 20. Ooh, I hear some good guesses. Let's do our counting all the way up to yesterday and today and see if we're correct. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Did you guess twenty-one? Twenty-one is a two and a one together. So you can practice with me on your paper or your calendar, or you can just do it in the air with your finger. Are you ready? We're gonna start with a two, and we start here with a curve, and then we come down on an angle, and then back with a line. And then we're gonna put a one beside it. You start up at the top and strike it down. Two and a one make 21. And we say the 21st when we put it into a calendar. So when we're counting, we say 21, but then we can say 21st when it's in the calendar. It's the 21st. So let's put that into our sentence. Today is Sunday, comma, February 21st. So we'll put a two and a one. And then we're gonna put a comma, and that comma reminds us to pause before we say the year. And the year is 2021. You can also say 2021, because it looks like two numbers together. 2021. So let's put it into our sentence. Today is Sunday, February 21st. And then we're gonna put in the year, 2021, two, zero, whoops, two, one. That happens sometimes when we're practicing, our numbers are a little bit bigger than they should be. So let's see if we can say this all together. Today is Sunday, February 21st. 2021 stop that period tells us to stop good job did you look outside today before we sat down to do our weather what is the weather like for you where you live i took a peek out and i'm a little bit relieved because it's not snowing anymore so i don't have to put snowing on the board it was snowing yesterday so i couldn't get all my stuff done what about partly cloudy partly sunny Hmm, do you have some clouds and maybe some sunshine? I'm gonna hang on to that one because I think that one fits us today. What about rainy? Is it raining where you are? Do you get to wear rubber boots and an umbrella today? What about cloudy? I have a little bit of cloud, but I also have some sun. So the clouds are kind of dancing around the sun today, hiding the sun and letting the sun peek out every once in a while. What about sunny? Is it sunny where you are? I'm going to stick with partly cloudy, partly sunny. So we'll put this on the board. And then will you help me put it into our weather chart? Let's see if we can find it on the weather chart. So our first one is a sun. So it is a little bit sunny today, but not totally sunny. So that's not the one we want. What about cloudy? It is cloudy, but not fully cloudy. I can see the sun, so that's not the one I want. What about raining? Nope, not raining here. Snowing? Nope, it was snowing yesterday, but not today. Here's one with a sun and a cloud. That's the one we want. And if we go over, we can see we already have some tally marks in here. Do you remember, what does this one mean when there's this many lines going up and down and then one goes vertically across here? What do you think that means? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So when we see four lines with one line strike through them, that means five. So we've got five plus three, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five plus three equals eight. We've had eight partly cloudy, partly sunny days so far. And now we're going to put on one more tally mark. So we will have eight plus one more. Do you know what eight plus one is? Let's put our tally mark on and then count them and see. You can do this on your paper or in the air. Start up at the top and strike it down. So eight plus one, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've had nine partly cloudy, partly sunny days so far this month. That's kind of exciting. So now I'm going to open up our agenda. So if you remember, my agenda begins with my name and then I put an apostrophe S at the end. And that tells everybody that this book belongs to me. Whenever there is a name and then an apostrophe S at the end, that means it belongs to somebody. So we've got Celine's 
agenda. So my name is Celine, but when it's mine, I say Celine's. Kind of makes a Z, a Z sound. So yesterday I had a dance party because it was blizzarding out and I couldn't go to the mailbox to mail my letters. So my agenda, I wrote on my agenda to do a dance party and I did that. So I'm gonna check that off and we'll turn the page and do today. So today is Sunday. So I'm going to start by putting the name of the day up at the top here and we're gonna practice. You can practice with me on your paper or you can say the letters out loud with me. Both ways are good ways to practice. So capital S because it's the name of the day, U, N, D, A, Y, and then a comma. And then February is the month and it's a capital F because it's the name of the month, E, B, R, U, A, R, Y. And it's the 21st, so I'm gonna put a two, and a one and then a comma. And I ran out of room here, so I'm gonna come down and go on to the next line, my imaginary line, and put 2021, two, zero, two, one. And next, I'm going to practice making my numbers all the way up to 21 because I wanna practice every day and get really good at making my numbers. So let's start. You can practice on your paper with me or you can just say them out loud when we count together. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oh, twelve, and I ran out of room, so I'm gonna come down and go over to the beginning. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and I almost ran out of room there. So we're done with doing our numbers and I'm just going to put my weather on today. It's partly cloudy, partly sunny. So we'll draw a sun and a cloud. And today I get to go to the mailbox and our mailboxes are red. This might be a little bit orange, but let's draw a mailbox. You can make it any color you want. What color are your mailboxes where you live? Sometimes they can be blue. There's a little door on the front for us to put our mail in. I'm just gonna color it in. I'm very excited because I did this letter on Friday, but I couldn't go to the mailbox yesterday. So I just did a little dance party for some exercise and then I called my friend. So there's my little mailbox. So I'm gonna go for a walk today and my kind thing to do when I go out today is I'm going to wave at everybody I see. It's just a friendly way to let people know that you're friendly and that you enjoy seeing them when you're out and about. I'm gonna put my name at the bottom so I'm gonna practice my name every day and you can practice your name right now as well. Make sure you put a capital at the beginning because it's your name, C-E-L-Y-N-N-E. -N -N -E. Good job. So if you don't know how to do all of your letters yet or make words yet, all you need to do is practice your letters. If you practice one letter every day, you'll get really good at them. And then you'll be making all the letters and all the words you can imagine. Today, we're gonna to start by making the letter U. And you start up at the top and you can do this on your paper or you can do it in the air with your finger. Start up at the top and come down, straight down, and then start curving, oops, and then curve up to the top. Let's do that again. Start up at the top, come down and start curving, curving up, curving up. There we go, back up to the top. And then you can practice the lowercase u, go half as tall as the uppercase u, and start here and go down and then back up and then come down again and give it a little tail. Let's try that again. Start up halfway up and come down, make a curve, go all the way up and then down with a little tail. And that's your letter U. Practice one letter every day and you'll get really good at it. And you'll be able to make all of them pretty soon. So yesterday I was sad. I was sad because I couldn't go to the mailbox to mail my friend a letter. So I did a little dance party and I got some exercise and did some baking and it turned out okay. I wasn't sad all day. I found some other things to do and I knew that I would be able to do it today. So that didn't make yesterday so bad. So I'm not sad anymore. So let's take that one out. And what about happy, content? Are you content? Are you relaxed and peaceful? 
What do you think? How are you feeling today? What about excited? Are you excited today? Are you doing something that's super fun or super cool or super exciting? It's nice to be excited for things. I don't think I'm excited. Am I excited? I might be excited. Hmm. Let's see. What about nervous? Are you nervous today? Maybe you're feeling shy. You know what? I think I might be feeling shy. What about angry? Are you angry or disgruntled? Hmm. Miserable, grouchy. Maybe you're tired. I think I'm nervous today because I'm going to go out for a walk. I'm going to go to the mailbox. And I'm going to mail my letter and I'm going to wave to people. And I'm a little bit nervous to wave to people because they might not wave back at me. So I think I'm a little bit nervous today, but I'm going to try anyways, even though I'm a little bit nervous. So I hope you find something kind to do today, even if it's just waving to somebody through your window or through the window in your car or when you're out for a walk. And I hope you have a great day and find something fun to do. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends. Click the like button and select subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos.